All right. Since I want to show the intro cutscene, I have to start the game. Here we go. Okay, the game should just appear. There it is. All right, we're good. There's no way to play the cutscene from the menu. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. Yeah. I'm your new travel agent. I nice. don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> it's grim from Billy and Mandy. Home, so you're dead, but you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip and I can't lie to you. So it could be very, very dangerous <laughs> unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe oh. try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Probably not. He probably does not qualify. Uh oh. Uh, oh wow. He was a very bad person. Well. Well, the indeed. Bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yeah ha. Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Excelsior. Yes. Oh, she's a it's beauty. a king. That compass in the handle would sure come in handy too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. <laughs> oh. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I Stilts. can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real <laughs> saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Oh, well, the game just starts. Okay. Hmm. hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Yeah, ¿qué, ¿Qué es esto? ¿Dónde está el baño? Oh. Is this my... Is What is this? Is this an item thing? Oh. My uh. scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Okay. That's it? My scythe. Okay. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Gotcha. My gotcha. scythe. Yes. I like to keep it next to, to where my heart used to be. keep it where his heart used to be. Oh. That's all he's got. He's like, oh man, I love playing with my scythe. Oh. Que demonios es eso? What is... Oh, okay. So here's the interface. I can talk to the pipe. I can look at the pipe. Looks like I got a message. Hmm? I can take... I don't know what this is. I guess this is use. This finger in the gear. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. <laughs> Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Yay. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. And so Heaven's Gate, you really have there. to jump on that, huh? Whatever you say, Hiffy. All right, let's... Okay, so this was one of the last adventure games. So it's using some kind of um, smart cursor system, like... 
That's a, that does the same as use. It's like, oh, cool. So this is the remaster. What what actually got remastered? I guess they couldn't do widescreen because that would have been they would have had to add more art assets. It does seem like higher res. I guess the lighting's better. The lighting's kind of cool. Very noir. I'll just play around with this stuff. I can look in the mirror. Let's go do that. I'm guessing that's what that. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Oh, I can look at this. What does this do? Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days when people died with dignity and Domino Hurley didn't exist. Not picking that up. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Yeah. Make me muy triste. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm going to let it air out some more. I like the ashtrays. Smoking will kill you more, though. Books. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. But, like, wouldn't they buy the best thing they could get? How, how does money in the afterlife work? Let's use computer. This computer looks like it's made it... Made with, like, vacuum tubes and stuff. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. It's, it's pretty much like a... There's no mouse, so it's just a typewriter. A glorified typewriter. What? I didn't know this game was going to be 4x3. If not, I would have did the setup with my webcam. But I don't want to waste too much time. I don't have that much time. Got about an hour before I have to go to work. Okay, that's how I get exit the thing. This game does not automatically say, please save in the pause menu to avoid losing progress. Oh, okay. So, save scum. All right. Let's check out that pause menu. The pause menu, however, is in uh, widescreen. Not many options. You really, you can't, I mean, all you can do is really change the resolution and add that movement mode. I, I don't know what the heck that does. Boy, text mode, voice only. Wait, there, there we go. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's a quick save button. Director's commentary, render mode. Render mode, I might check that out. I guess I can make it look like the old version of the game instead of the remaster. There's no quick save, is there? Out of all the things to add to a game, quick save would have been the, the deal. All right, what was it? Backspace, let me check this out. Oh, okay, so now we can, I'm gonna go check this lighting. So the background didn't change much. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have the awesome lighting that he has in the... He's definitely smoother. He blends in with the background better. Right, let me look again. Does the background... No, the background doesn't change at all. Just the way he looks. That's neat. I'm gonna keep the remastered look. I think it blends better. With the pre-rendered backgrounds. It looks clean. I okay, can't exit here. I guess we'll talk to the receptionist. And also, I, I'm thinking that's an elevator, but that's a weird looking color door. Is there a run button? Okay, you double tap. What, what can I look at here? Another door. She's got one of those pipe tube things too. I better stretch out those bones there. I like this talk. <laughs> it looks mad. Who is this? Tell me who, who she is. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Cool. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Uh, what poisoning? ¿Qué es eso? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Gazpacho. Best served cold. Where was the poisoning again? Don't this style of poisoning. For crying out loud, he'll know. <laughs> I like how I can I can talk to her and be like, hey, uh, what am I supposed to do in this game? Hey, does the green lighting affect her in the original? No. Huh. I like how these remasters of these old LucasArts games, I can do this and look at how it used to look compared to how it looks now. <laughs> 
Though it's much better in Full Throttle and uh, Curse of Monkey Island. Any messages? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> my heart, though. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I, I was got on one top. One boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? And now I can just uh, tease her. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Oh, are people buying little candy skulls and stuff? It's the Dia de los Muertos. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. No! Christmas party. So, you going to the Christmas party? There are so After many dialogue the spectacle options. you made of yourself last year, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, <laughs> why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. <laughs> oh, we lost that one. Oh, I gotta hit the bricks. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. You know, I gotta start using that term. It's like, ah, oh, I gotta go hit the bricks. See ya, toots. What is this door then? Domino's door is locked. Oh. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Why does he Not have a, a cool door? Idea, actually. His door is like way better than your door. Your door is just normal. No wonder why he gets all the clients, man. You gotta have, you gotta have presentation. You know, you gotta pitch that sale. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. I was just gonna wish him a happy Dia de los Muertos, man. Yeah, that's the elevator. What is this? Oh, that's the elevator. Then what the hell? What the fuck? Two elevators? No, I didn't want to go back in there. Okay, so this is the lobby. What, where's that other elevator lead? I'm glad there's no loading. It just pops into the next... The next area. That's very convenient. It's like the garage. What was the frame rate on that car? Excuse me, man. We got to pull that car over. That was... I guess I better go to the Dia de los Muertos thing. Or the poisoning. How do I How do I do that? What is this? Take your time, man. So my character is not named Grim. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living. Depending on your destination. Oh. The land of the living. Okay, you can just... There we go. Through there lies the Limbo Highway. And on the other side of that, the land of the living. Well, let's go. And go through on foot. Damn. People have tried, but they never came back. That really concerns me, actually. Because you're already dead. Like, what happens... Can the... Is there a dead for the dead? Is this like Beetlejuice? Is... Oh. Here's what I need. Wheels. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. Or if I was just supposed to go to the lobby, but now I'm here now. Doing adventure game stuff. So I've never played this cabinet. game before. So I don't know. Check it out. Locked, Locked. huh? Hey, who the who's uh -oh. messing with my stuff? Oh no. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Manny. My Manny Calavera. 
Manny Skeleton. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said. Oh, his lip syncs better the too. The day they? off. Domino sent my driver home. Yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh no, my roots lie not in any earthly nation soil. Are you an alien? I am an elemental oh. spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. I guess he's gonna be my driver. I was wondering, he's not a skeleton, so... Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. This guy is so relatable. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. I just had that cigarette. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, uh, can't rule. I have to do a fetch quest, huh? Oh, uh, come on. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. Oh, now we have body shaming. You're just right. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. You're not too big. The car, okay. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? Uh, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order oh. from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. <laughs> Everything around here is just too small. Exactly. There it goes. Seems kind of cramped down there, though. What is this? Is this? I gotta get this work order signed. Okay, so I guess this this side parts my inventory. Oh, I'm carrying the work order. That's interesting too. The pinnacle of Lucas Arts adventure games. I remember seeing this game like just the CD case, um, not even like the box, but just the CD case at like Best Buy, and it was going for real cheap. I never got it back in the day though. But back in the day, I didn't really have a lot of cash, you know. I was, I, I was also like a kid, so you know, give me, give me a break. When did this game come out? I think it's like late 90s. That was the other problem too, like a lot of PC games. Cause I had Windows 2000 and it had a lot of problems with like games made for like 98 or 95 and it had no DOS. So it was like trying to play old games on it was nearly impossible. Let's see, where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. <laughs> Here's the train. Midnight train. There she is. The number nine. Mighty One number nine. One of these nine. days, I'm going to ride her right on out of here. I could make an inappropriate sex joke, but let's not. Ah, the old head of the department. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. <laughs> was he? He was Aztec? 
It's locked. Locked. Where's the boat? I guess at some point I explore this area. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. I know how that feels. Now this guy, I don't know who this guy is. I think he just paid <laughs> for the lobby renovation. <laughs> this guy. It's locked. This guy over here, what was he? What's this guy doing here? What is he doing here? This game has a great art style, I gotta say. It's got... I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da ganos. Sanitarium or nothing. What's up, Ginger Vitus? This is like Sanitarium that I played last year. It's an adventure game. I've also never played it, but heard a lot of things about it. R Rubacaba. I'm not walking on the free the petrified forest Rubacaba. Not really that far away, but to me they might as well be on the other side of the world. I shouldn't even be standing here. Ooh. I'm not walking on the freeway. I'm not walking on the freeway. Oh, is this my car? No, it can't be. A fancy ass car. It must be the boss's car. He parked in a no parking. Oh, I spot. sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? Doink. You'll need your file. I don't no even know if I can do that. Client car pickup only. Is there a command for that? Ooh. You can always check out my let's play of it. Oh shit, they're having a big festival over there. Damn, look at that pinata. Whoa. Ay cabron, it's the pinata. Oh shit, who's this? Who's this guy? Oh my god, he's an undead clown. What the hell is he playing with his sausage? What are you doing? Let's check out what the original graphics look like. I guess... I guess they upscaled the background, but they can't downscale the background. I'm, I'm assuming the background was not this sharp. Oh, you're trolling? Alright. Wait, 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 I can look at the barrel. Get over here. Get the barrel. Oh, I'm streaming during a Those sports event? Damn it! <laughs> blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? All right, that's that's fine though. It was the only time I could stream. I I have to go to work. Can I not? There we go. In like an hour or so, so figure get a nice stream in. I thought this would be a nice uh, Halloweeny kind of game. Ayo, like payaso. Crafty mind. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Can't you see I'm practicing my my penis balloons? <laughs> Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Who's this guy sound like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? He sounds a little Jack Nicholson s, doesn't he? A little um. Oh God, who's, who's that guy? That's like Jack Nicholson from like the Brat Pack. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Oh, they lost. All right. Oh, shit, he did it. Ta-da. Damn. I like my inventory system, it's just uh, going. I now have a balloon of Robert Frost. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. That's my scythe. What is this? It's some sort of special work order. Okay. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? You teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you Take a practice heat the first step? Which is well, this blow. guy's also a clown. I mean, Heath Ledger's not necessarily a clown, but he played a clown. Does the Joker count as a... I guess he does. He does count as a clown. Bang. Bang. Uh, pop 
up another one. Lousy, bony fingers. Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? He's got a point there. No, how much business is he getting with the parade being on the other side of his stall? Unless he's uh, got, like, this is just the back of his establishment. Briefly sound like Billy West here. He's got, he's got little Jack Nicholson, though. He's like, hey, I, I can't do a Jack Nicholson. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? You too, buddy. What's going on? There's someone up here, but I can't. Oh, it's like a bird. Yep. Just an alleyway. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Dance with the devil. I'm gonna take your eye. Hello? Is this a camera? Is this a trap door? What the? Not picking that up. Of course. Can I climb this? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to go check out the poisoning. What's up, Never Conquer? How you doing? Hey, you know what? Billy West might have worked on this game. It's possible. Just like how John St. John's like in a, a bunch rope, of games. But it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. The f blue, blue, blue. There you go. Wow, that was quick. What am I doing? Is, I guess I can't go see the boss any other way. This is the... Can't go to the ladder. Whee! Oh, I'm back in the office. Oh, that was you. Oh, wait, no, this is not my office. This is someone else's office. Time to go snooping. So I thought I'd be a detective, but I'm a salesman. To all the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales quarters are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. Yeah, that means you don't get your weekend. Screw that. They really work you to death over here, you know? Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. Ay ay ay. This place is a mess. Sucio. We need to go over here. Let's see. Oh, let's hack his PC. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Very important meaning. Didn't I say not to interrupt? Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. I can't use the mouse wheel. I, uh, I, cripes Eva, just sign it yourself, will ya? I'm busy. Eva, please, I need a little more time alone. Tell me, tell them the checks aren't here yet. I'm on the phone, and if you buzz me again, I swear I'll jump out this window. So, so the boss just left. He made, he made all those ties? Alright, so... I'm gonna make him sign something automatically. Oh, where was it? Oh, here we go. I cripes Eva, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripes Eva, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm, I'm busy. busy here. Can't you see I'm doing work? Damn broads, always bugging me when I'm working. Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey. Work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. I didn't know the bureaucracy of the dead was so... so hellish. Here, take, take the work orders. The oh. Hey, swapping, selling, and specially like stealing still work talking. orders will he's result like, in severe like disciplinary still reading reading action. while I'm walking around. <laughs> Gotta interact I would love with everything. To Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Yeah, I don't even know how to get. To, uh, well, I guess my first quest or objective is to get the um, the thing signed so I can have the mechanic alter the car so he can drive it. 
Let's rifle I would love garbage. to search Don's office uh, right now, right, but let's I'm get out of here. The... Why even tie ropes, though? I mean, you're already dead. Like, what could possibly happen? I guess you could break your bones. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Is this the uh, hallway? Uh huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. Well, he had the right idea. And I guess he knew that Manny or somebody would be on the window. Maybe his boss. I mean, they do share the same thing. The same uh, edge, whatever the fuck that's called. I don't know. See, when I lived in Mexico City, right, there were big buildings and shit, but I wasn't stupid enough to ever go out on the on the edge of them. That's scary shit. Let's go here. Alright, so you had to go down here <laughs> to, uh, to do that. Like this Art Deco, very classy. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. All right. I was just trying to figure out that camera angle there. Okay, now we'll just talk to the secretary. Wah 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 wah. Over here. Wait, so the other cool, like, let me, let me put it back to the normal, normal game, or the original game. There we go. Do the Beetlejuice quote. Nice fucking model! Hong Kong. Alright, did the Beetlejuice. I feel like, I feel like they were really channeling sort of a Beetlejuice vibe with this. It's my boss's- It's my boss's whipping okay. boy, Manny. I could tell her that he's not in the office. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow that was a good up, prank. Darling. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copal, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Eva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Here we go. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> Does boss do no work? Eva, he just fucks off. Rest. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. You know, smoking's not bad for you when you have no lungs. What the fuck? Oh. Interesting transition. Alright, time to go pester Billy and Mandy. Oh, nice! Nice. It's like a car suit. Well, hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving! Yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> He <laughs> looks like like when a teenager gets in one of those like kid like uh, cars made for little kids. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, uh, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what are the, What was that sign? What the hell is this? What is this place? This place is nightmares. Domino. Is that a thumb? The living still give me the creeps. I... I have no words. Let's check out this malt thing Truth here. Truth be told, I'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free. 
So is this how the dead perceive the living? Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Although this is a body bag. I thought it was a thumb. I'm like, what the hell? I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Oh, I guess I got to use the scythe. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. So this I is where all say, the people died. This food looks pretty good. From the caspaccio. I have to say, this I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. Mm hmm Ketchup. I can't talk Look to the living. Look at these poor saps. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. <laughs> Weird, man. Soon I'll be coming for them. Oh. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. Did I look like that when I was alive? Oh. <laughs> if I scare them to death, then they'll become a customer. But I'll get nailed with a conflict of interest rap. Hey, what's up, Peppy Paco? Oh, Neko Arc. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to reap this soul here. I'm gonna get out the scythe. There we go. Oh, I like how it folds. That's nice. Very convenient. Just... Whoosh. Oh, was it a child that died? Nice bathroom. <laughs> That's it. That was it. Whee! That's an in scene. Nice bathroom. Travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yap. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No! First wait. day, I want Can't that you mug. find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey, Damn. Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out. Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole <laughs> lot of time to kill. Oop. Oh, went down that much, Gingivitis? And tw Twitch, I feel like, does sap phone strength faster than, like, YouTube for some reason. Well, oh, you shut him up. There we go. I guess he was shipping him off in a coffin. I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Calavera's skull in Spanish. Yeah, I think so, too. I think Esqueleto or something is, like, a skeleton. I can look at this. It's a hole punch. Cool. Take it. Could I take your hole punch? Ha! <laughs> I doubt you could take my half punch. All right, that was a good comeback. I'll give her that. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. All right, a hole punch. Hell yeah. Thanks. Good Gets shit. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? All right, that's about it. And this hole punch. <laughs> He's still looking at it. <laughs> I guess we'll talk to her. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We gotta use the talkie button. Writing's so good. There is a... Yeah, I'm... I, like, a lot of character in this game. 
No plot yet, but definitely a lot of character. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. What? I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least he got you know, Danny DeVito. For one. <laughs> I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the <laughs> land of the dead. Until wow. then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. It's all about that. I think that's how it is with every LucasArts game, because that's... That's how it was with, um, what was it? Monkey Island? Which I had on the Xbox, like, I, I never played the original Monkey Island, I, I played the re-release on the Xbox, and I really liked it, but I don't have it on Steam. And my Xbox is pretty much, pretty much DOA. What's your job like? Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if I just, wait, what if we just skip town tonight? What if we just skip town tonight? You Where would they me, go? Baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. I like how she's she's the uh, exposition. Like, she'll tell me, like, how this world works. Why do some clients qualify for You think Manny wouldn't need packages? to ask her this? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in your life? Oh, I was a secretary. Oh my so God, that's exactly what he's asking here. What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Oh. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Damn. Ouch. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Dude, I, can I go see the boss? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Oh, Hefe doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, Domino's in. I guess we can have a repertoire or whatever. And whole, whole kind of thing. What's he look like in the normal game? Okay. He's a tough guy, huh? It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. How, how does how does the skeleton sweat? Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, hey, hey Callie, how you doing? Hmm. Wait, wait, is he wearing a mouth guard? Why? Like, is is the speed bag gonna hit him in the face? Like, what's with the mouth guard? <laughs> So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. You know, he speaks the same whether he has the mouth say, guard in or not. Score? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? Yep, that's one way to put it. Uh, I want to tell you... Oh, <laughs> let's I ask, ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Ah... <laughs> uh. You know what? Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Whoa. If only people were this clever in real life. Instead of just saying, you're a mom. <laughs> can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got. Especially if that's your best right jab. <laughs> Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? 
Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then uh, neither do I. Oh, so I have amnesia of my life? Interesting. I want to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. Dang. Well, at least we're getting some backstory now. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> this is why I never became a salesman. Th this exact reason here. This. <laughs> I think I'm just going through every well. option. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. Oh, wait. You can be married in the afterlife? I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no. Not the Christmas party all over again. What happened? What happened at the Christmas party? <laughs> the Blacked fuck? out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath. So I'm going to blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess I can mess around in his office. Thought death was the escape. No, it's only the beginning. What is this mural? Look at all the diplomas. You have to have the proper attitude to get diplomas like those, Manny. Really? I thought you just had to have the proper postage. Oh, can we get him? Can. He has a vice. He's an alcoholic. That's some premium looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Ooh. Yeah, let's drink on the job. It's always a good idea. Let's do it again. Can I get drunk like in GTA? Can I drink all of his scotch? Like, jeez, Manny. You need to lay off. It's like, hey, man, you offered. Real man needs eight shots before he feels anything. He gets it hard. <laughs> he doesn't have to worry. He doesn't have a liver. This, this is just fine. Okay, I guess it never runs out of scotch. So my dad would always drink scotch, scotch and water. That was his go-to drink. And his reasoning behind that was that was what doctors drink. So he's like, well, if they drink it, then it's it's probably not that bad. <laughs> I was like, all right. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Damn, you don't even have the drawers? Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. <laughs> like how he, he kind of cracked up a little bit. I wonder if that was intentional or the voice actor kind of. Voice acting in this is pretty superb. My boss is always giving me the, they oh, bought yeah. the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. See, like, when, when it comes to adventure games, what I really liked about them or what attracted me to them when I was a kid was that they were voice acted, right? I know there were adventure games before that, but I never really played the, the ones that didn't have the voice acting, you know, like your King's Quests and stuff or your Police Quests. The LucasArts ones, though, they, they always seemed quite appealing just because they had so much humor injected into them. What the hell am I supposed to do? I guess let's play with my computer. That's what I do in real life when I got nothing to do. I should close Bruno's record for the how black how... mark burn into my screen. Mm -hmm. Woo! I, I interacted with. Well, let me look at what's. Yeah, I got a sight. I got. This doesn't look anything like Robert. Frost. I got this balloon animal. <laughs> I guess that's the. Other, I yeah. I go check out the this parade. This doesn't huh? look anything like Robert.
because i think the very first adventure game i've ever played or ever saw was at blockbuster and they had a sega cd and what was running was um dy dynamic or whatever like the adventures of willie beamish World building is what you usually like, even though you hate their gameplay. I think Dom would call the company shrink if I left through the window. There's also some like, there's some good adventure games out there, and then there's some like kind of trashy ones, and then there's ones that are just kind of curiosities. Like there's one where I think it has um, what, what, what's his face from Back to the Future 2, you know, the Doctor, and it's like some kind of cartoon world. And I hear that adventure game is kind of mediocre, but I still want to check man it out. Doesn't want to be disturbed today. I think Willy Beamish is kind of a, like, its gameplay is really annoying because I remember as a kid I got to like the third world or the third day and I would just get killed. Like, it was one of those unforgiving adventure games where you would just Sticking die all the time. What the fuck? Beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Okay. I guess he's a demon but that's the thing i like about the lucas arts ones though is that they never they never just killed you why can't i go over there you like gabriel and i oh everyone loves phantasmagoria too <laughs> get over there is it over here what the oh, okay phantasmagoria i i want to play gabriel night one i want to check that out Warning. Fire system, do not touch. That's not on fire. There we go. I got that. I don't know why I need it, but you know, in these games you pick up everything. That wheel should open it. What what is it? The hell is this machine? It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Am I supposed to reroute it so I get the important stuff? Amazing for the most part, though, got some really damn puzzle, dumb puzzles. I heard that, Curtis. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. It's, I like how in Phantasmagoria you check your email and then your computer punches you. <laughs> 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 and everyone in the office wants to do Curtis because he's just he's just brimming with such such masculinity what the fuck oh this is where I put the guy in the coffin you know um, another good thing about it too is like you know the guy the actor that plays Curtis he's on YouTube and I think he's done interviews with the other actors from Phantasmagoria too maybe he's trying to get a Phantasmagoria 3 going or a sequel to no that one. Travel. I, I like one of how the chemicals when, for our packing material comes out when of there. Curtis was a boy, his mom would dress him up like a little girl <laughs> and call him. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. <laughs> I remember that you go to this, you go to the psychiatrist's office, right? You're like, oh, this guy seems pretty normal, and then he tells her this fucking story, <laughs> and you're like, holy shit, Curtis, your life, wow. It's like, oh, he was in a mental hospital and he was he was this and I'm like, man, he's no wonder why he's so boring. That's probably the best you're gonna get after all that trauma. <laughs> is to just be a One boring of the guy with a for rat. Our packing material comes out of there. <laughs> uh, One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I guess I'm supposed to put something on the desk. Oh, uh, we foamed it. Ugh, that smell. Take foam? Oh, he just... He doesn't even take the foam. <laughs> I think if I put the... Mix some chemicals together... God damn that fucking balloon. It's one of those things. You ever solve a puzzle in one of these games, but you don't even know what the puzzle is for? You, you just like... You're like just touching shit because you know you can? It's a nasty chemical puddle. I'm not getting that stuff all over my hands. So everything seems context sensitive. So if I do, if I didn't needed to use this, I would have just used it. Do not touch. Yeah. 
Hey, these games are still better than some of those. Remember those Dragon Lair type games where it's just like, hey, pre press the right button at the right time. Hey, what's up, Lusty Bard? How are you doing? How's your night going? Dia de los Muertos. I guess this is the only place I can go. Go talk to this guy again. He was fun. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? A dingo. A dingo? That's my specialty. It's the exact same balloon, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay. Ta -da. Am I supposed to get every balloon from him? Just walking around with this dingo balloon? That. I got that other one. Okay, so I do have to get every balloon. It's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. <laughs> My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. All about memo and timing. Dragon is one of the best, better of those because of the animation by Don Bluth. Like when it has like great animation and stuff, there, there's like one I remember where you play as this dude with red hair and a baseball cap and he's being chased by this little blue guy that just kills him and there's no real setup to it. It's just what happens. I always wanted to play that one. It was on the Sega Saturn. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Time Girl was okay. Uh, let's see. A dead, a dead worm. worm. Heck, that's easy. Do, do, do. Oh, it's, it's just There's a balloon. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. Once beating a single one. That's that's true too, like because I, I I did beat Dragon's Lair on the 3DS or the DS version or whatever. RK Machine haven't caught a stream of it yet though. Oh wow, he's got the laser disc one. Didn't they re-release Dragon's Lair though, like in a Blu-ray or something? Dragon's Lair. He goes off camera. They're just full of party favors. And I'm not in the party mood. All right, so I got this balloon. I got this one. It's a deflated balloon. Not really sure of the format. The original arcade's a laser disc. That's how that's how it works. Because what happens is you press a button, and then there's a little delay between seeing the um, the outcome, and that's the laser just going to the chapter. Because you couldn't really do that on VHS. And then they would release, like, Dragon's Lair would also get released on, like, DVD and stuff, but I think there's a modern one. But I think the modern one is just, like, you know, the lossless footage and, like, upscaled of the laser disc version. Because I, I, I remember it being on Blu-ray. And it might be on Steam, I haven't really looked. There was a sequel to Dragon's Lair as well. And then there's the space one, Space Ace. They're all done by Don Bluth. I think Don Bluth was gonna try to make a Dragon's Lair 3, or like a Dragon's Lair movie at some point. The guy still wants to do animation. He did some really good cartoons back in the day. Like he did the original Land Before Time, and then he did, uh, What else? All dogs go to heaven. American tale. Hmm. Uh. I don't even know what my goal is. I'm just wandering around now. Like, I guess I can go. Okay. 
Well, I haven't been to the uh, garage, so let's go there. Let's go to the car guy. I got balloons and I got a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Let's. I got no real like goal right now. I didn't. Maybe I should talk to the secretary again. I don't know. Uh, maybe I can open this toolbox. It's a tool cabinet. Oh, I, I can interact with the um the water fountain. Who's afraid of a little rusty water? Woo. Wow, that sounds awful. Hello, Besson. How are you doing? That sounded like a toilet flush, not like water. A bad toilet flush, too. Right, maybe... It's locked. Right, maybe I can go in here? It's locked. Locked. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. Woo! I like how he does an impression of him. No one in there. <laughs> he does. It's a tool cabinet. Locked. Grim Fandango. Yeah, like I remember seeing Grim Fandango. It was because it came out like during the perceived end of adventure games. Like it was the last big budget adventure game. I mean, there was obviously adventure games after Fandango. It's just that the game media didn't really care anymore, and they were more niche. Like Ross's Game Dungeon said, it's like, yeah, just because the media didn't report on it or it wasn't in magazines, there was plenty of adventure games that came out what in like the 2000s. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Oh, I make squeaky noises now? With my balloons? Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do what you... Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be oh, wait, disturbed wait, no, today. I, I, can, I can go and... Go through the boss's window. That's a, that's the other thing I can do. Might as well do that, huh? I I like to think that this was LucasArts' final adventure game too, wasn't it? Or did they make another like Monkey Island after this? Speaking of adventure games, there's a new Monkey Island game out that I've heard uh, good things about, but. Considering I've only beaten the first Monkey Island, I don't really want to like play. Which I think I think what what is the what what is the count on the new one? It's like six or seven, something like that. A lot of Monkey Island games. It's locked. Ah, oh, can't go in there. No use for it. Newest is returns. Yep. No use for it. I think he plays Guy Rush Threepwood again. No, not while Domino's in there. Return to the secret of Monkey Island. Not a fan of the art style in the new one. Yeah, that's a big complaint most people have about the new one is that it looks kind of like a flash game or a mobile game. But it's like, at the same time, too, it's one of those things where it's like, the only other thing they could have did was either went retro throwback, you know, make it look like pixel art, or they could have, um, made it 3D like this. But there's no way they're gonna get, make it like, you know, a high-quality 2D animation like the CD-ROM ones. Just the budget. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? <laughs> I can't go down this road. It says it's interactable, but, but nothing happens. I shouldn't even be standing here. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Yeah, I have, I have no goal. I'm just wandering around now. I'm like... 
That's so weird. Usually they, they kind of point you in the right direction, you know? Now it's like, all right, I got to get sales. Okay, well, like... <laughs> I have balloons. <laughs> it's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all the communications here in the Department of Death. There's a camera angle. That red tube looks familiar. Can't reach. Oh. They gotta open this and then do something with the red tube. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Okay, so we have this, and then there's the packing material room. What else is in here? Not much. I will say things about these adventure games, though. They are kind of relaxing. You basically just click around on stuff. Yep, that's, that's kind of it on that. I'm not getting that stuff all over my hands. It's a nasty chemical puddle. What if I keep putting the same chemical? Yeah. And then it foams pretty rad. No thanks. That stuff smells terrible, man. It's a lump of our packing foam. Get out of here. For a game jam? Oh, that's pretty cool. Those game jams tend to, tend to have some interesting stuff. That's how you get like those homebrews for NES sometimes. All right, back in the elevator then. The secretary won't tell me what to do. If you don't right. yeah, so I do watch you I can mess with Domino some more Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm supposed to like hit him with balloon animals Hey, Hurl Yeah, well you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow always a pleasure cow And it, it, like there's no way I can use items. Oh wait select. Oh, I can Okay, that's how you use items. No, I've never played this one before. This is the first time I'm playing it. That's not on fire. <laughs> I think Dom would call the company shrink if I left through the window. I mean, I could put packing f material into that one balloon. I don't know why I would do that, but I could. Social issues, right? Game jam. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. No. Well, I might as well... Put that back. Alright. So that's how you use your inventory. Now to give him this cat balloon. Oh, he takes it out. It's a deflated balloon. Hey man, I found your penis. Look how That's tiny it is. Balloons are for. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> That's not what balloons are for. Not... Okay. I got you, Robert Frost. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. <laughs> oh, that's what's making that that's... terrible noise. All right, let's go bug me. Like, I could be doing work, but I'm playing with balloons. You can ignore me all you want, but you know I'm here. All right, fine. Oh, maybe I'll check the tube in my office. Maybe I got another work order. That would make sense, right? Like, of course not. 
There you go. At least I got something to do. I got a balloon. Uh, take the balloon and stuff. There we go. This is so weird. I've never seen an adventure game where they, they're just like, all right. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't you, you want know, to be disturbed Usually you have today. like a goal, like find something, do something, get out of something. Here it's like, well. So I'm, I'm basically stuck. I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I got these unrelated items. Can't go in any there. Yeah, we already tried that. Something with the packaging foam? I tried to go through the, what's it, like, to the parade, but I can't get to the parade. There's, there's a clown in a barrel. I get in there. Wah, 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 wah. Oh yeah, also the game does not have autosave, so I'm supposed to save all the time, right? And there's no way I can just quick save. Right here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Can I comment on the pinata? No, I can't. Is there an exit over here? What's why is the barrel highlightable though? That's what kind of confuses me. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? Okay, well, I mean, if I could light those crates on fire. The problem is, all I have is a fire extinguisher. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Unless this creates fire. If this creates fire, that's silly. That's not on fire. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Maybe the packaging material is flammable? But I don't have a lighter. The secretary has a lighter because she lit that cigarette. Then again... Grim can light, I'm um, Grim. Manny can light cigarettes. Hmm, I don't know. That's not on fire. I, yeah, I know, just get in. Uh... No, the only other thing I can think of is to use the uninflatable balloon in the packaging material place. I don't know why I would, but. The noise. All right. Okay, I got a balloon full of packaging material. Let's see what he comments about it. It's probably flammable. Oh, that's a schlong. Hey, this look. balloon is filled with a dark chemical. This balloon is filled with a dark chemical. All right, now we can inhale it, and then we can get really high. Hmm. I f feel like I'm need needing something else, though, for this for this puzzle here. So I got the balloon with the dark chemical. Like, will I just be able to just put the balloon on the crate and then start the fire? Or do I show the balloon? See, what makes me think I have to start a fire is I have the fire extinguisher, you know, like that's... I don't really want to do that. Here you go, here's the balloon. I don't really want to do that. What was the point of filling the balloon with it, though? I can't combine items, thank God. That would make it even more of a nightmare. Let me go back to the packaging thing. So, the balloon definitely has something to do with something. I just don't know.
You dig mariachi music? It has very Hispanic flair in this game. This balloon is filled with a mainly because you know the characters do look like the little candy skulls and like the other Los Muertos type characters. I don't really want to do that. Oh. I don't really want to do that. So I can use the balloon on this stuff, and it fills the balloon. Oh wait, I can click on the coffin. I don't really want to do that. Well, I don't want you to do that. I want you to tell me about the coffin. Bruno, you in one of these? Must have picked them up already. For those who enjoy no hassle travel, I don't need the hernia. <laughs> okay, well, there was nothing there. And it's just like the only other thing I could think of is. So he said, "Don't put shit in the in the travel tube, right?" So let's put the dumbass balloon in the travel tube. Because remember, we got harassed by that one guy. He's like, "Stop putting garbage in the travel tube and fucking it up." I'm like, "Okay, well, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do then." Never got the hang of the story. He, he's a salesman. He's not an investigator. He, I thought he'd be a detective, but no, he's. He's just, uh, he's just trying to get clients. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty phallic. <laughs> Look out below. Okay, so we're gonna fuck up this machine. I don't know why we're doing any of this, just, just because we're for fun. Oh, now I gotta, I gotta get another balloon, right? And then fill it with the other chemical, and then it will jam the machine. This is one of those things where I don't know why I'm doing this, but I know it's something I can do in the game, so that's why I'm gonna do. That's how adventure games work. You take whatever lead you got. Like, alright, well that's... He said I would give me free balloons all the time. I don't know why. dun 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 if I'm really stuck, I'll check out a guy. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. I can't be the key to the castle. Get the gold flavored meat to distract the mechanical dog. That's not what balloons are for. There's always some like something really dumb that the worst ones are the ones that are pure moon logic, where it's just like you have no idea at all. And there's no hints. That's why at some point I want to replay Willie Beamish now as an adult. Just because I feel like I could get past the third day. Fill it up. Now we go into the thing. I'm gonna jam this machine. Do 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 do. Alright, let's come on. Like I don't have control of him when he walks out. I gotta wait a little bit for him to go through that animation of walking out of the elevator. I don't know why, but that dingo one cracks me up. Kind of looks like Duckman. All right, this should do it. This will gunk up the system. That doesn't sound good. Why did he do this? Did he just... That doesn't sound good. Server's down again. What else is new? Alright, I'm gonna have to go to work though. I just wanted to see if that worked. But thanks everyone for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, check, check out the YouTube.
Oh, hey, check, check it out. Now I, I put a thing so now it doesn't go to a black screen anymore when I exit a game. Now we got the playlist. I'm, I'm premiering the Let's Play of the, of the finale of Silent Hill 3. Tomorrow at noon. Yeah, see, now I got this. So that's, that's better than a black screen, huh? <laughs> you guys have a good one. You guys have, have a good rest of your Sunday. Hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. Try to get it. Yeah, check out that premiere coming up. Uh, it should be premiering on, uh, what's it called? Noon or so. And then this one will probably be pr premiere like later in the week or something. But you guys have a nice, nice day. And I'll see you guys next time on the Ultra Show.